what is up you guys welcome back to another video with two bros performance today don't have a whole lot going on but i just kind of want to explain what's going on with me for the next couple weeks and bigger plans for the channel what we're going to be doing in the next couple of months we just want to keep you guys informed as much as possible that way you guys can look forward to what content we're having for you guys in Duncan's last video he was saying that I was going to be gone for a couple weeks and I told you guys that I was going to try to put my lowering springs on or in but my buddy who has the lift he's working on a project right now and the lift is not accessible so I'm going to have to wait until he gets his project done or at least out of the way before I'll be able to even use the lift. So I'm not sure what time frame that will be, but hopefully it's gonna be soon. It'll be after I get back, obviously. Um, so today we're gonna to wash the car, clean it out. We're gonna to try to polish, buff it out. Try to get it looking clean. If you guys didn't see Duncan's last video, he is getting married in the beginning of August. So I will be flying out there because I am the best man. So I'll be flying out there and I'll definitely be vlogging that for you guys. We're going to try to do a couple videos while we're there as well. So it's going to be a fun time, a good time. It's going to be fun to be around each other again, doing videos. We've got a lot of things that we're trying to work in to this channel. But obviously it starts with you guys and watching and your support. So thank you guys for that. It has been awesome. Another thing that we're, well, me and my uh, wife are doing is we're we're actually getting ready to move and build a house. We've got 35 acres that we're moving into. And uh, so it's gonna give us a lot of space to put a nice garage. Duncan and I, we've already talked about building a very nice garage with a couple lifts. And uh, it's gonna give us plenty of room to do outdoor activities. So content related material is gonna be so much better with so much more room and opportunity to do all that stuff. Another thing I wanted to mention, and I don't want to bore you guys with all this talking. I know you just want to see the car and what's going on with it, but we have a goal of getting to a thousand subscribers by the beginning of September. Now, we are just now actually starting to get serious with the channel. We started it last year around the same time, and the stipulations to get monetized is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within 12 months. And I know it's asking a lot, but for those of you who are consistently watching, I said please share and like and comment on our videos so that way we can reach our goal, get monetized, and that way we can start doing a whole lot more uh, within the channel. Like right now, everything we do is strictly out of our pockets from our uh, just our day-to-day -day jobs. And so it's it's hard when you're, you know, especially Duncan just about getting married. And I don't want to take too much away from my family to throw into the channel and then, you know, us have to wait for it to really, you know, work out. So... If you guys, like I said, I know I keep saying it, but if you guys can just please share and subscribe and just give us as much love as possible. I mean, if you don't like our videos, which is it's perfectly fine, no big deal. But for those of you who do, you know, it'd be awesome if we could hit that 1,000 subscriber and 4,000 watch hours before September. So that way we can start doing a lot more. So I'm going to be using the Meguiar's. It's a compound color and clarity restore, supposedly. I've used it a little bit here and there, uh, but I've never done my whole car with it. 
I got this polisher, so it should help a lot. So let's jump into it and see how it does. <laughs> Now that we got that, which if I'm doing something wrong guys, please put in the comments how to do it better. Like I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of following the way the directions say and hopefully it turns out okay. So that yellow sponge was the applicator and apparently this is supposed to take off the wax and give it that nice shine so we'll see how that actually works. I don't know if you guys can see this. But it didn't do a bad job. It is leaving this uh the some kind of residue. Um well I think it's just from the from the cloth. It's not really residue, but just the cloth. Um, it's leaving it all over this car so I don't know if it's just a if it's just a cheap cloth you can see it there or I just need to kind of wash it uh, you know how like some some new cloths they just it's kind of like they shed easily and once you wash them get all those fibers out uh, then you don't have any problems so Overall, I mean, it, it turned out pretty good. Uh, besides, like I said, just that uh, the, the cl pieces of cloth, clothing or cloth uh, being dispersed everywhere all over the hood. So I think that's what I'm going to do is next time. I'm just not going to do the, whole, the entire car right now. All right, guys. So this is going to be the end of this video. I've got a lot of things to do tonight. I still got to try to upload this video. And I still got to finish packing. So I'll be gone for two weeks. Like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, I hope you guys have a good time while I'm gone. And I'm going to try to do some footage while I'm out there in the field. I'll have to talk to my commander and see if he's okay with that. But other than that, I hope you guys have a, you know, a good two weeks while I'm gone. And I can't wait to see you guys whenever I get back. What is up, guys? So today is the day that I am supposed to go to AT, but I am driving home because I had to get tested, oh gosh, my throat. <laughs> I had to get tested the other day because my family and I were potentially exposed, and because of my wife's line of business, uh, she wanted all of us to go get tested. So, uh, whenever I got at my unit and they asked me if I was tested or if I had gotten tested or I'd been potentially exposed, I had to say yes. And so they said that I couldn't go because it just wasn't worth the risk, which I completely understand. It just sucks because, you know, this is the one time a year where we can actually, well, one of the few times a year where we can actually go and 
utilize our skills and equipment uh, that we you know, use for our MOS. So I'm kind of bummed out, but you know it's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put a lot more time into this channel while I'm self quarantining because I can't do anything or go anywhere until I get my results back and it says that I'm negative. But like I said, it gives me a lot of time for Duncan and I to get some more content out there for you guys. We have our goal that we're trying to strive for. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, Duncan's got a very good project that he's working on right now. But I think you guys are gonna really you're gonna really like that. I was excited whenever he told me about it. So I got a few more projects that I, I want to do, and uh, so we'll we'll go from there. Honestly, it, I'm going to upload a few videos these next couple weeks. Duncan's going to upload a few, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope this uh, COVID stuff isn't affecting you too much, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.